Good morning, my friends. Good morning. We are here in Bocas del Toro. Pretty day. And it's time to leave. So we're gonna make our way to Almirante today. That's where we have the bike stored. And then we're going to finally make our way back to Costa Rica, guys. It has been a long time coming. And uh, yeah, we've been in Panama for for a long time. <laughs> so we're gonna go catch this uh, boat taxi and then um, yeah, make our way back to the bike and get things loaded up and bounce a ruski, so. Gracias. Gracias, hermano. Sí, sí. Sí, vamos a lograrlo. <laughs> Gracias. Alrighty guys, let's go grab some food real quick and bounce a rooski. We're gonna go to that spot, my uh, favorite spot, where they gave me a lot of food for uh, four bucks. Hopefully they're open. Alrighty guys, an end of an era. My uh, time in Panama is coming to an end today. Knock on wood. Watch me break down on the way there. <laughs> I was like, nope, we're not going to Costa Rica yet. Yeah, we are we are gonna be going into Costa Rica today. Crossing on the Caribbean side this time. Close to uh, Limon and Puerto Viejo. That's where we're gonna be headed to today is Puerto Viejo. Bocos del Toro, guys. I I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, there was a lot of construction going on. I think maybe in a year or two it'll be even a lot prettier with a little bit less dust and construction. But um, that tour, that was awesome. That island we went to, that alone was totally worth it. Massive river. giant baseball field out here. <laughs> what the heck? Maybe this is a bigger town than I thought. Yeah, that's Volcas baseball team. La frontera? Está por ahí. No, es que quiero ver los campos. Ah, vale. vale. Sí. sí. <laughs> it's so funny, like, someone would just stop in the middle of the road to be like, where are you going? Just pause light and right in the middle of an intersection. I think that is really funny. <laughs> it's kind, like, I think it's a kind gesture. Um, maybe a little bit nosy for some, but. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know that I wanted to go see these banana fields, which I found out Chiquita. That's what they. That's what they do. Bananas. There they are. We are about to see a lot and a lot of bananas right now. This side's got them too. It's just blocked off. bags to cover them from bugs, I guess. There it is, Chiquita. Look at all those. They're washing them? Oh. Look at the 
chance guys I'll drive in there. Yeah, they got buses to bring in the workers. Put them all in boxes and refrigerated canisters. Here we are, guys. Oh, it's actually, it might be for the sun because it's got holes in it and it's open in the bottom so air can pass through. Or maybe it's to make them grow faster. Kind of more like some more heat, humidity in there. Pretty cool. Could have been a good place to camp. Costa Rica, oi. You stopping in Panama? Mande? You stop in Panama? Ah, yeah, yeah. Qué bonito por aquí mismo, ¿verdad? Ya voy a Puerto Viejo hoy. Esa es la meta. Ah, el 9 de 2024. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Muy bonito Panamá. Ah. Me gustó. Gracias, hermano. guys, every single check I've ever been at, every time I've talked to a Panamanian police officer, they've never asked for the documents for my bike. They just always go straight for passport, and yeah, <laughs> kind of funny, I don't know. I'm considering not doing the paperwork in Costa Rica, because Costa Rica actually has like the most expensive importing fee. Total around 80 bucks. If you have to pay for three months of insurance, it might even be more. It might be, uh, I think it's around 80 bucks. I'm kind of just curious to see what would happen. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still thinking about it. Guys, I think I made it to the border. Easy enough, no. Bounce out of here. Yeah. Yeah, that was a quick little passport stamp. I think I'm just gonna drive across now. I don't my my thing's already expired, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go across. guys flip a little Yui try not to get a nail in the tire let's go across 
wish me luck, guys. Hopefully they're like, where's your little paper that says you stamped the motorcycle out? <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I don't, I don't got one, sorry. This is where it would happen if it's gonna happen. Hola, hermano. Buenas, buenas. Buenas. ¿Fue a migración? Sí, a sí. Ya lo sellé, ya hice todo. Ya. Okay. Sí. Sí. Este es nacionalidad Estados, Estados Unidos. Unidos. Okay. Gracias, hermano. test is Costa Rica gonna ask for a paper from Panama I don't think so Something going on here you gonna spray me I don't feel any spray <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna find a one. Hey, estoy bien, estoy bien. ¿Qué, hermano? Vas para. Ya yeah, voy entrando, voy a aduanas. Sí, gracias. Come up on this shade right here. ¿Estás bien? Voy entrando. All right, guys. I've made a decision about what we're gonna do with uh, the bike permit here in Costa Rica, and I've decided we're gonna risk it. We are going to risk it for the biscuit, and uh, it'll be a learning moment for all of us. I'm just curious to see what will happen. I'm okay if I gotta pay some big fines. I'm okay if I gotta pay some cops off. I'm okay with whatever happens, guys. I really am. I am interested in the science. Just kidding. I'm actually just really interested to see if you can do it. And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna die. What's what's the big deal, you know? So let's just see, let's, let's just see uh, See what happens. If I get a ticket, it's gonna be okay. But I only plan on being in Costa Rica for like five days, guys. Um, I've pretty much seen everything I want to here on the way down, so there's not really, not really a whole lot that uh, I need to go and stop and do. So I don't feel like paying close to 100 bucks for five days. You know? And, and I'm okay if I, if I do have to pay a hundred bucks in the name of let's see what happens and uh, as a little experiment, I'm happy, I'm happy to do it, you know, I'm happy to pay for the consequences of doing something not the right way, but more bananas guys, welcome to, uh, welcome to Costa Rica, I've decided that I'm gonna start a new tradition and so find a good spot to, to pull over here. Alrighty guys, we made it here to Costa Rica and uh, this is the new tradition. <laughs> we are going to kiss the ground of all the new places we arrived to. We got my friend here. Dile algo a las personas de Estados Unidos. Este, pura vida, estamos con aquí en Sisabola, Costa Rica. Pura vida, todo. Pura vida, bro. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. <laughs> that, that's the new tradition. When we get to a new country, we are kissing the ground. <laughs> Something about kissing the ground, I don't know, just... 
humbling ourselves to the new country, to the new area, putting ourselves below it and saying, I'm ready for everything that you got to throw at me. The good, the bad, the ups, the downs. And welcome to Costa Rica, guys. I rate that kiss, I rate that kiss maybe a six. Descending upon me. We're back in the promised land of Costa Rica, guys. The most expensive country in Central America. I can feel, I can feel the vibes. They're just everywhere. They're coming at me from all angles. Oh, it's a big old iguana I almost ran over. <laughs> that sucker just ran, just darted out. Puerto Viejo, Playa Chiquita. We're gonna pull in. I don't have a uh, reservation right now. So we'll have to just, I'm just gonna literally pull up and try to get a spot. See what they say. So far I'm liking the vibe over here, guys. It seems really clean. Lots of people out biking around and stuff. It's cool. Got the beach right over here, guys. Beautiful. Yeah, I was, I think we might be here for a few days, guys. Beautiful looking water. Oh, it's a KTM. To, to sleep. This is it, guys. Alrighty, my friends. 
it's uh made the decision we're gonna camp one more night here in costa rica try to hit the border tomorrow just because it's gonna be dark here in a little bit and i'd rather just uh i'd rather not be searching for a place to sleep in the dark what's this is there wood like that pretty rutted Ooh, guys that's a big snake that is like the first snake guys i have seen in this trip i don't know what kind it is so i'm not gonna get too close we're just gonna appreciate it from right here that's a big sucker there you go oh he's looking in the field i can still see his head he's like right freaky oh Oh, he's climbing up the post? What are you doing climbing up the post, dude? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just gonna relax right there. I wonder if he knows if something's up there. I don't know why I'm whispering it, but I don't want to disturb him. He's still right there. Freaky. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go look for a place to camp right in here. Boom. Could be, could be highly poisonous, guys. I don't know. I don't get the vibe that he is. But still. I'm kind of scared of snakes, I'm not going to lie. He's cool though. I mean, they are cool. I will say that. <laughs> Time to keep moving, guys. That? Yeah, I really haven't been seeing anything like Any snakes in the wild. So that was pretty cool. Ooh, got my heart going a little bit. Oh, this might be our field. They're probably working all this tomorrow. Probably be coming up in all this tomorrow to cut trees. Snake heaven. Oh, I'm thinking about snakes, guys. Maybe that's why I haven't seen them because if I did, I would have friggin' a house over there. I'll go try to talk to someone just to get permission if we can. Yeah, my map doesn't show that this road exists. Buenas! Woo! Buenas! Buenas! Not getting the vibe that someone lives there. Kind of just looks like more like a spot where they come to to live temporarily or sleep temporarily when they're working cows. I hear all the howler monkeys. We'll go straight right here just to, just to see if there's a person we could ask close by. One more check because I mean we have a little bit of light. And in the meantime, we'll keep our eyes open for better spots like maybe that one. around. I don't think we're getting really too much going on here. You guys hear that? It's a howler monkey. They're all over the place. this home for the night. <laughs> Wish I had some food. <laughs> I didn't do very good at I'll tell you this guys, it sure is peaceful right here. Beautiful actually. This is where we're going to move the bike down right here because this is a lot more flat. Wow guys. All right well fingers crossed that no one gets mad.
today, you guys, was a pretty long day. I crossed. <laughs> um, I crossed the majority of Costa Rica all on highway today. I feel like my face has got like a little bit of windburn to it. I feel uh, I feel rowdy. I feel ooh, I feel good. I feel like I feel a little Western, a little wild. Right now, I got my beard all kind of scruffed and ugly, and not very well groomed. My hair is my hair is matty and dirty. It's not it's not dirty because I took a shower today, but it's definitely sweaty. Definitely is not clean. But man, look where we're at, guys. Like ah, man, I feel so so lucky. Yeah, this is good. Okay, all right. Tomorrow, guys, we're gonna be entering into Nicaragua and it's gonna be the final day where we, we actually see if I can pull this off of um, not getting in trouble with Costa Rica and having no registration for the bike. Um, also, I am going to take my drone across the border into Nicaragua. I do, I'm not gonna do any f filming, but um, I'm just going to avoid having to pay the money to send it to Honduras and also the risk of losing it in the mail kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna lay down and get out of the snake snake territory. Where I found that snake is like literally not even that far from here, but anyways guys, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for all the support, the kind comments. I, I read them all. I respond to them all. I, uh, I've been taking pride in that, that I not always immediately answering just because like right now I don't have any service but um, I do make it a point to respond to every comment every message that's sent to me and um, I'm thankful for the people that are always there cheering me on so thanks guys and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one bye